when I used to go to their houses, if I had my parents, they used to be like, no, don't come to the kitchen. Mm. So the, the mother teaches the, the daughter what to do and what not to do more That's than it. anybody. So yeah. I think women and men both need to change the attitude. Mm. When families come together in the evening and watching TV or whatever they watch, uh, when there's an ad of chocos or whatever, yeah, they right. watch it. But an ad of sanitary napkins, everybody sort of starts looking around yeah, or they want is, to take a loo break or they want to have water, <coughs> a glass of which is, water. Which is bizarre, absolutely bizarre. Ex Hi, I'm Radhika Apte. You're watching me on Bollywood Hangama. The way uh, Akshay's character is shown, he's, he's shown to be very sympathetic, he's shown to be very empathetic as well. Yes. And he actually goes ahead and tries to make a pad for his, for his, for his wife. Yeah. But the fact is that uh, in India we have this patriarchal society mm -hmm. where um, women are meant to perform certain, certain duties. Uh, mm. I, I, the fact is even in affluent homes, even in educated households, yeah. uh, women dutifully follow certain duties that But the fact is, as far as their, their pain is concerned, or the fact that what is afflicting them, it's something that, it's, it's none of our business. Right. Mostly men, men uh, don't really even want to discuss that. Yeah. It has become like a taboo for them. Yeah. Yeah. So, people, women who don't have the fortune, fortune of, yeah. say, having a husband like Akshay Kumar. So, what, what, what would you like to say to, to such people that why the mindset should change? It's, it's high time the mindset should of change. Of course, the mindset should change, but not just the men, the mm. women as well. Absolutely. It's not just the men. We were taught as children by not my mother, but a lot of friends of mine, when I used to go to their houses, if I had my parents, they used to be like, no, don't come to the kitchen. Mm. So, the, the mother teaches the, the daughter what to do and what not to do more Absolutely. than anybody. So, yeah. I think women and men both need to change the attitude. Mm. I mean, I was doing some research about why is it a taboo? And it's been a tra taboo since pre-historic, I don't know, pre-language. Apparently, some say that it's been a taboo for a long, long time. Right. Of course, there are certain cultures and societies which uh, actually celebrate it and think it's a very sacred uh, and, uh, and like it, it makes a woman more powerful and mm. more like, you know, pure, pure, purifying process. But why is it a taboo? And then I was reading that, like Freud said, it probably came from the fear, fear of blood. Mm. But there were some people who thought that it was toxic, that it sort of killed uh, things, organic things. It had a negative sure. effect on organic things. Right. But blood is not toxic. The bacterial contamination, the infections that can cause because of not having, like, maintaining hygiene, is what actually can cause all these things. Absolutely. So, and also, it's very interesting that some people say that it comes from a misogyny or patriarchy where men do not have the privilege and I have to say privilege of reproduct being able to reproduce mm -hmm. right so it's the psycho psychological compensation of create making that into a taboo because we cannot have it I'm just saying that all yeah, the theories obviously. that are there obviously theories women used to actually because of the pain and because you become weak because there's a lot of blood loss prefer to not do a certain things and then that turned into a ritual of, no, you shouldn't do it because that is dirty. So you never know. There are so many theories Absolutely. about it. Absolutely. And I feel the way we talk about, like I was talking to somebody two days ago, you know, when we talk about, uh, when families come together in the evening and watching TV or whatever they watch, uh, when there's an ad of chocos or whatever, yeah, they right. watch it. But an ad of sanitary napkins, everybody sort of starts looking around yeah, or they want is, to take a loo break or they want to have water, <coughs> a glass which is, of which water. Is, which is bizarre, absolutely bizarre. Exactly. So I think it's high time it changes mm. because periods are the most fundamental. You wouldn't be born without yeah, them. Absolutely. And, and yeah. we all have to go through them either as women or as partners, uh, you know. And it's as normal as going to the loo, uh, everything. So we change, change <coughs> absolutely. now. Absolutely. In fact, I was speaking to Akshay, Akshay sir and uh, Sonam the other day and you know something very organically came to my mind that the fact is that uh, I think women have it harder, much harder. Mm -hmm. in, in many ways the fact is that first of all they have to have this thing first of all every month but, but the fact is that when they stop having it, like say when the, when the menopause period, period hits in, yeah. it, even, even that can be like it's extremely depressive for, for women yes. in general because yes. Uh, now the fact that they cannot reproduce anymore, that can be like uh, they feel a sense of vacuum coming inside. So there are several uh, several aspects that, that women go through that uh, yes. need to be understood, they need to be addressed, they need to yeah. be 
Uh, most importantly, talked about. Yes, of course. You just I mean, cannot be, be brushed. I mean, brushed. when we start talking about, they will also talk about the fact that men also go through a phase when women go through menopause. There is a Even thing for men also, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And there's a lot of psychological effects of right, that. Right, right, right. But we don't talk about that right. because men are strong and they don't want to be weak. Correct. correct. But they do go through a lot of thing with age. Right. Uh, but of course, like uh, with menopause, I think it's so important because people don't even know what mm. menopause is. And they don't know that they're going through something which is hormonal. Absolutely. And even during periods, I think your cycle, I mean, you know, if you keep a diary of your psychological moods and your periods and your ovulation and everything, it's so connected uh, for women. It's Once you understand it, absolutely. It's, it's absolutely, it'll help. It'll help you, it'll help your partner. It's absolutely. great. And it's, absolutely. it's interesting also. It's, 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 it's definitely interesting. Radhika Apte, you're watching me on Bollywood Hangama. 